Well, hello everybody. We are back with another skyscraper tutorial. This one is number 12. This is loosely based upon this one that I found. It's actually a real building, but it's not quite close enough for me to actually reference that building, but it is inspired by a real, real building. This one's really cool because it's mainly made of glass and I used a couple of different techniques to build it. I used some diorite actually. I know it looks really ugly up front up close, but as you back up, I think it looks actually pretty cool. And then also we have some black stone wall in there. And yeah, so the defining feature of this is that it has these white sections that come out here. And those white sections are actually made of white concrete, obviously, and light blue stained glass panes. And the darker sections back here are gray concrete and dark or regular blue stained glass panes. This protrusion out the back here is an optional thing. This is an elevator. So it's my multi-floor elevator that I did recently um, that goes all the way to the top. Inside we have our main lobby here. It's a little bit on the darker side just because of my uh, shaders that I have on. Let's see, yeah, I'll just leave them on, that's fine. But we have a little uh, sort of lobby, like reception kind of area here. We've got a couple of couches. And then we have some carpets, obviously, and some lights. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much what a lobby consists of. In here we have uh, the multi-floor elevator. And actually, it would probably be here me to kind of work this out a little bit better. There we go. There we go like that. And this is actually my newest um, multi-floor elevator. If you haven't checked out that tutorial, I recommend it. But basically, all you have to do is push this button, and it takes us up to the next floor. Eventually, eventually we'll get there. <laughs> there we go. And then we have a choice of can we can either go back down or we can go up to the next floor. And it goes all the way to the top. So that's how that works. And then here we have sort of the elevator lobby right here. You can walk into and just basic lobby. <laughs> and then this is our first condo right here. So this is the uh, one and it has a balcony out here. And we have a nice little kitchen with uh, just some basic amenities. I didn't go crazy decorating this because I didn't want to um, spend a lot of time on the interior decorations. But I did decorate it enough so that you can get a sense of where to put things if you want to build this in your own world. Of course, you can use the shell of this building to put like a sugarcane farm in or whatever kind of redstone farm you want to fit inside of this thing or just build it empty. Um, it's up to you, of course. But a uh, little bed here. I kind of like the way that this headboard looks asymmetrical there. And then I did kind of like a combination like closet slash... Um, sort of desk thing. It's very Ikea. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Ikea. We've got a little bit of a uh, bathroom here with some, some bamboo shelving. We've got, uh, um, this would ordinarily have a mirror here, but if I do a painting on this, then when I clone the, uh, the floors um, with bling at it, then it doesn't clone the paintings for whatever reason. So unfortunately I didn't put a painting there, but this would be like where the mirror goes. Have a little shower right here. Um, we're going to pretend that the glass here can be frosted um, so that one, when taking a shower, isn't exposed to, you know, prying eyes. Anyway, <laughs> I know I always build my showers in front of a window. Uh, here's another little bedroom. Maybe this is like a the second bedroom here. Uh, similar IKEA furniture. And that's about it for this floor. There is another level that if we go up, um, this one here is a little bit larger. And this actually is in the section, so this right here is the section that sticks out and is white with the light stained, uh, light blue stained glass, where this one here has this little extra um, dining room table in it. It also has um, an extra couch, so this way is to view the view, and this, wow, that's actually a pretty cool view. Ah, uh, Minecraft. All right, back to what we were doing, whoa. <laughs> A uh, little TV right here. The other one had a TV. I just didn't point it out, but here's a TV. This one's bigger. Um, and then the bedrooms are actually the same, except for the master bedroom here has this extra uh, little piece jutting out here that for like a little office desk here with another spectacular view of the bay in this world that I've built a couple skyscrapers in. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with our base. This time we will count with torches because last time I apparently messed up the counting and I'm sorry about that. Uh, getting the base right is like the most important part. So let's go ahead and start this. So this is gonna be like the front right corner, right? So like if this is the front of the build, then the front right corner is gonna be right there just so you can orient yourself on how you might wanna put this building in your, in your world. So this front right corner is that front right corner right there. Okay, so from that front right corner, we are gonna go back one. So that starting on the corners, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 blocks. Then you're gonna come over a total of one. So counting the corner as one, two, three, four, like that. And then you're gonna go this way, uh, one, two, three, four, like that. So basically this cutout is four by four, but you actually go across five and then go up four like that. And then here, if you want the optional elevator, then do this. If not, then just go straight across all the way. Okay, and we're gonna count that out in just a second. So go, uh, let's see, from the corner, so one, two, three, and then on the fourth one, you're gonna go this way by one, two, three, four, five, and make that one a gray concrete. And this is of course white concrete in case you're didn't know what that was. Uh, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, across the back. Then here, one, two, three, four, five, and then that would be the sixth block. So I guess the whole span from, let's see, so we got three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three plus eight makes 11 so far, if we're going straight across. Uh, but if not, then just come here and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, like that. And thirteen plus eleven would be uh, twenty, twenty-four, I guess. So it'd be twenty-four from there all the way across. If you don't want the elevator, but I recommend the elevator if you're doing multiple floors. Definitely build that. Definitely, definitely build the elevator. Definitely. Okay. Anyway, you can count with the torches right there, like that. Let me show you this side here so you can count with the torches. That's why I'm using the torches so you can count easily. Okay. Now from this corner, we're gonna come back towards the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, including that corner that was down there. Then from here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and I guess five. And then from there, you're gonna go one, two, three, four to this little corner. And then you're gonna go across the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then the 24th block would be your original corner like that. Okay, I'm gonna hover above one more time so you can hopefully count that. I know with YouTube compression, it might be a little hard to count the backside, but at least the front you can count here. There we go, let's see if I can get a smaller, there we go. Okay, like that, and like that. Now on this elevator here, what you wanna do is basically centered in the middle of this, you're gonna have some gray concrete, and it's gonna be one, two, like that, and one, two, away from there. And then you're gonna have a, uh, so it's like two blocks of obsidian, and then two blocks of obsidian there, two blocks of obsidian there, two blocks of, of obsidian there. You can also use any immovable block for those uh, that you want if you don't want to use obsidian. I just use obsidian for immovables. It just, I don't know, it just makes sense. And then fill in the rest of it with gray concrete here just to kind of mask um, the rest of the things so you're not looking at like open green grass like I was earlier. Okay, that's the bottom floor. Okay, this is the next step here. It looks like a lot, but we'll go through it from the outside in here. So what we're gonna do is from the front right, you're gonna take a block of white concrete, put it right there, and then you're gonna put a second one, so you got two right there, and then you'll have a space of two, and then two more, a space of two, two more, a space of two, two more, a space of four, two more, a space of two, and then two more, like that. And you should end up on this little corner right here where this cutout is. Okay, so there it is from above. Then working backwards from this block, you're gonna have that block and then you're gonna put another one so you have like a two right here going this way towards the back. A space of two, 
two blocks, a space of two, two blocks, a space of two, two blocks, a space of two, two blocks, a space of four, two blocks like that. Okay. Just like that. Now going from this corner right here, what you're going to do is there should be three, uh, a space of three like this. And actually from the front left corner, that'd probably be the best place to start. What you're going to do is you're going to take out your gray concrete. Or if you don't like gray concrete, you could use like cyan uh, terracotta, I guess. But I don't know. Use gray concrete. It looks good. <laughs> okay. Then you're going to do um, two across here like that. So I'm going to go left to right. And then you're going to do two um, of these. These are blue gl uh, stained glass panes right here in the middle. And then two stained glass panes of two, two, a stained glass pane, and then a gap here of two. So this gap is two blocks wide and then a stained glass pane. Uh, this is going to be where the door is. So actually when we build this upwards, when I extend this upwards, this whole thing is going to have stained glass right there. But for now, just you can leave that open because there's going to be a door there. Uh, then two and then two, 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 and then to this corner two. And then that should be three blocks away. One, two, three from that right there. So now you can count out that front and everything is two. So there's, uh, if, if you can't see like how many blocks it is, it's just two, 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 except for this space span right here is actually four. And this space right here is two like that. Okay. Then starting from this front left corner, going that way, we're going to go two blocks, two glass, two blocks, two glass, two blocks. Then right here, sorry about my chime there. Um, then we're going to have a space of one, two, three, four like this. So just that's where the door is basically. And then two blocks, two blocks, two blocks, two blocks, two blocks to the back corner like that. Okay. So you can see that across the back here, it's going to be the same story. So two blocks, two glass, two blocks, two glass, two blocks, one, two, three blocks here. Now, if we were doing this, um, if you're doing this without the, uh, the elevator, then you would want to actually go four and then continue the two, two, two pattern. But um, if you're doing the elevator, then do three blocks here and then frame the elevator. So this is actually on top of what we had before. Frame the elevator with a single layer of the gray concrete all the way around, except for on top of those two obsidian blocks like that. Okay. Then you have a single pane right here and then two more. And then of course that pattern comes back this way. So two, 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 four. And this one here, you're not going to leave a door. And then two, 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 like that all the way around. So it should look like that. All right. Then from here, what we have is a space of one and you're going to put these two cauldrons here because we're going to have some leaves in, in these. So this is the front door, if you will. And then there's a space of one with these two cauldrons and then another space. And then right here, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight polished blackstone. And then going this way, uh, including the corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven polished blackstone. And then going back that way is eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this way, uh, fill it in and then leave this gap right here. And then what I did here is I put some polished blackstone slabs. This is just interior decoration, right? So if you don't want to do this interior decoration, then you don't put the cauldrons or any of this stuff. Um, if you don't want to, if you want to decorate it yourself, or if you're using it as like a, um, a shell to put uh, redstone farms in or something like that, then don't do the decoration. But if you want to do the decoration, then this is it. Um, you can skip ahead in the video if you want to get to the next part. But anyways, um, so we have slabs here, the polished blackstone slabs across the front and the, across the back on the inside like this. And then here spaced, uh, just like this, we've got a, a court slab, another court slab, and then these two crimson um, trap door things. And then actually what's going to happen is we're going to do two more like this so that we've got, you know, a couple of chairs right there. All right, there's that. Uh, then let's see, probably the smartest thing to do would be to do these cauldrons next. So the cauldrons, there's one, basically two, uh, a cauldron behind each one of these blocks here. So one to one and then a space of two and then like that. And then there's one right here in the corner. So it's sort of like diagonal from that corner is one just like that. Okay. Same thing on the other side with the cauldrons. And again, those are just going to have some leaves on them for some decoration. Okay. Then coming back this way from this 
uh, Blackstone polished thing right here. We're going to have a carpet right here, and it's three by one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's three by six, and then this is the white wool or white car or white carpet, <laughs> white. That's super white, Hex. <laughs> Light blue carpet, and then we have gray carpet in the center. And then one block away from that, we've got one. Let's use our torch here. Grab a torch. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of the smooth quartz. And then coming back this way, one, two, three, four, five, six of the smooth quartz. And then I put quartz slabs here for like the seats of the of this little couch. And then here we have a three by three of some polished blackstone slabs like that. Then uh, across the space where this side door is, if this is like the left side, um, we're going to go across in a space of four with a two wide carpet down the center like that. And then another couch and little table that mirrors this one. So it's also six and six. Then you have another um, one of these, a carpet like that, that comes off of this corner. And it's six by three with the strip down the center. And then two blocks away from that, and it's actually uh, one, two, three centered on this, what's gonna be the elevator door where these obsidian are. There's this carpet right here. And it is also one, two, three, four, five, six long, but it's actually four wide and then filled with the gray carpet there. And that's kind of the first layer of our downstairs. All right, here's our next stage. So it looks like a lot, but again, I want to guide you all through it. So what we're going to do is from this front right corner again, we originally had these two blocks right there. So those should already be there for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to extend these pillars up an additional one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen 11, 12, 13 blocks. And then the 14th block right there, you're going to actually bring it all the way across the top like that. Okay, so each one of those pillars, you're going to extend up 13 blocks and then 14. And then you'll, it should be a total of 15, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, 15. So it's 15 to the top, 13 additional, uh, plus the row all the way across here to there. Okay, and don't connect this to that yet. That's going to be in another step here. All right, so each one of those pillars that's two blocks wide, you're gonna bring those up like that, all the way around on the white. Then you're gonna do the exact same thing with the gray concrete, that is, and the glass. So you're gonna bring the glass and the gray concrete up an additional one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks with a row of just gray concrete on the top like that. So don't obviously extend the glass like up to here, up to here, right? Don't do that, do this right here. And that's the uh, 14th additional block, 15th total block, if that makes sense. Okay, um, the doors right here that I was mentioning before, these two wide doors, I only brought them up so that they are three blocks tall. Yeah, three blocks tall. And then I filled above the door with glass like that all the way around, all the way around. And we're gonna get to this elevator later. I think I'm gonna finish it um, later. But so for now, what I want you to do is to take and yeah, actually this needs to be like this. There we go. Now it'll match what you have. But you do want to take an above the elevator door right here. So two blocks above it, you're going to fill this in with immovable blocks. I used obsidian because I think it matches the gray a little bit better, but you could use like furnaces or whatever. If you want to save on um, resources, if you're building this in survival, if you're crazy enough to build my skyscrapers in survival, uh, you can sh <laughs> skimp on the obsidian. <laughs> I guess you can get it from piglin farming now pretty easily. So uh, yeah, you could always build a piglin farm to get lots of obsidian. Anyway, uh, to finish off the decorations in here, all that I did was I put some jungle leaves coming up out of these cauldrons. One, two, three, four on that one, like three on that one. I think this is uh, six on that one, uh, probably four again on that one, three on this one, uh, and so on. Um, as you can see, just kind of like that. Uh, if you want to use a different leaf, if you don't like the jungle leaves, use whatever you want. Then on each corner of this like little uh, reception station, what I did is just these derpy lamps where we have two end rods, 
a honey block and then cover the honey block with uh, the crimson trap doors. And I'm just going to get rid of these torches here. So that's on each corner. And then in front of each receptionist little thing, I put like a little laptop uh, pressure plate and then a little orchid just like that in a pot. And then over here, I did kind of the same thing on these couches. I put these lamps, same exact lamps as those uh, on each corner of the couches. Let's get rid of these torches. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, getting rid of torches. There we are. Okay. And then I did put a button on each side of this elevator, although those buttons do not actually activate the elevator. Uh, the elevator is activated from inside. But just for decoration, that's what those buttons are for. Just one on each side. And I think that's actually, oh yeah, these lights. These lights are a little complicated. Let me show you where they are first. So um, above this place where there's the door and it's four wide across the front here. So if this is the front, uh, we have a space of one, two blocks like that. And then I did the shape of an eye like this, like the letter I. Let me get my torches back so we, get, we can count this. So we have one, two, three, four across. And then I did one, two, three, four like that for the, I guess, the vertical part of the eye. And then four across the top again. And then I did these chains. And these chains are three blocks long. And there's four chains going like this. You could also use, I don't know, something else if you don't have access to chains. But chains are, oh, yeah, you can make chains. Huh? I was thinking like you had to go to the nether to get them. But you can totally just make some chains out of some iron. Not a big deal. Anyway. Um, then here, uh, what I did is end rods in between these two. So this is white concrete, obviously. And then underneath the white concrete, we've got this, um, these blue stained glass blocks. And then in the center, it's just a bunch of blue stained glass panes like that. And I think that makes a pretty effective light. And then I did another one. It was supposed to be in the same spot away from this wall, but I think it's actually three away from the wall for some reason. Uh, one, two, yeah. Truth be told, I'm using Bling Edit to copy and paste things, and I might have pasted it quite, not quite in the right spot. My intention was to put them directly over these carpets on the floor, but I think this one is the one that's actually off by a block. So use a space of three would probably look the best. So three away from the block, the wall here. If you did two already, just do two on that one. It'll be fine. I mean, if you look at mine, like, you know, if you're flying around or like even inside, you can't really even tell that they're one of them is not quite in the right spot. But anyway, okay, next, what you're going to do is you're going to put a layer of white concrete on top of this block that you had here. So this was like that 15th block that was all the way across. You're going to put another layer on top of that, just one block all the way around like this, all the way on top like that. And then you're going to connect it like this. So from there, across connected to there. Okay. And then what you're also going to do is put another layer underneath like that. Okay. So it looks like that on that side and then like this on this side. Now this block right here, sorry. Now this block right here is actually over the top of our gray walls, right? So if this was our gray wall that we had, put one block right there and that's white concrete. Now it, it can actually be any block you want. You could put uh, lava there. <laughs> well, I wouldn't use lava because you might burn the whole thing down. But my point is that um, you won't see that block. But I'm putting white concrete there because we're going to talk about it later. There's going to be a pillar right there that's white. Anyway, um, then on top of this entire thing where the decorated lobby was, fill the entire thing and the top of the wall except for that block and that one over there with gray concrete. So you're just going to do a layer of gray concrete covering the whole thing. And it's going to be the 16th block up from here, right? So we've got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 15, 16. Okay. And then all the way corner, all the way across here. Um, except for right here uh, where this obsidian is, you want two obsidian blocks right there. Cause otherwise, um, unless you're not doing the elevator, then you want to just put gray concrete or whatever is supposed to go there. Um, but anyways, then this right here was that other block I was talking about. It's also on top of the gray wall and you can just put a white concrete block there. Again, you're not, you're never going to see this block right here, but you could use stone or something. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Now we're going to start the actual apartments and this is actually kind of the easy part. Okay. The whole thing's really easy. Okay. I don't know. It's really hard. I don't know. I don't have to build it in survival mode. I don't have to build it at all. I already built it. <laughs> 
Okay, next we're gonna build the walls of these apartments that are sort of the ones that have the balconies. So that one, that one, that layer, that layer, and that layer all have the same layout. So when I say a balcony apartment, then you'll know what I'm talking about, it's this one. So basically what we're gonna do is remember where that white concrete block was? So you're gonna come up one, two, three, four white concrete blocks on top of that one. And then you should have a, this uh, distance, one, two, three, four, like that, to the end right here. And this is gonna be all blue stained glass pane, okay? Don't use light blue, make sure you use blue because this right here is actually light blue and what that's doing is it's giving this weird effect where it looks like the white um, concrete areas are actually lighter than the dark concrete areas and it kind of adds to the, um, just kind of the coloration of the build. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so there's four across there and it's all four blocks tall, okay? One, two, three, four. So basically the, like the interior of each one of these apartments is gonna be four blocks tall. All right, so then coming across the front from left to right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come right here, and after this white concrete pillar that's on top of that block I was talking about, you're gonna go one, two, three, four of the stained light, sta light, blah, <laughs> regular blue stained glass panes. Wow, that is a really long name. Let's just call it glass for now, okay? Then you're gonna have a pillar of black stone wall. I like the polished the best, the, the polished black stone wall right there. Then two of the glass, then another black stone wall there, uh, four blocks tall, and then one, two, three, four, five, six glass. Now there's a reason that they aren't evenly spaced, so just trust me that the interior walls um, are gonna come and they're gonna land right on these here. So there's actually a hallway of interior walls that we're gonna build later. Now, if you don't want to build the interior part of it and you don't wanna build the interior walls and you just wanna use this as a shell to put a like a thing in, then you could space these a little bit more evenly if you want to, wanted to, um, to create the uh, to create the walls. And I think I had them all spaced four apart, and then I moved a couple of them to accommodate what I did on the inside. So if you do want to make it so that it's just all just a shell, and you don't want to do any interior stuff, then you want to um, leave. Uh, yeah, you want to like space them by four. That's fine. Um, also, you probably wouldn't fill in this whole floor right here with the gray concrete. You would leave it open uh, at this point here. So I probably should have mentioned that before if you're building the shell, but now you have some mining to do. So that'll be fun for you. <laughs> anyway, uh, the next, I have a diorite pillar. Now, if you absolutely hate diorite and refuse to put it in your build like some people do, then you can use another blackstone pillar. I think that the uh, addition of a little bit of these diorite pillars actually looks pretty cool, but that's me. Anyway. Next, uh, so that's a diorite pillar. Then you have one, two, three, and actually four of the glass panes right here. It doesn't look like there's four because this one is like um, around a corner like that, but you can see there's a full one. If I do that, you can see it. Okay, and then right here, I have a window that is, or sorry, a door. Uh, this is a super good window, Hex. Um, I have a door that is one block wide. So it goes one glass, then a window, then two glass like that. And then that gives you a way to get out onto the balcony. All right, then coming, then coming across this way, we're gonna do, uh, so including the corner, one, two, three, four glass, a diorite, one, two, three, four, let me fix that, uh, glass, uh, blackstone, then we have one, two, three, four, a blackstone, then we actually have one, two, three, four glass, and then I did another door here that's one block wide. Like that. It doesn't look like one block wide. It looks like two because of the way that glass connects. Uh, and then we come to that white block that I was talking about right there. And you're going to build a pillar on top of that of the white concrete. Then you have one, two, three, four to the edge. One, two, three, four to the corner. And then right here, you're going to go two th and then three right there, glass. And then if you're doing the elevator, then what you would want to do is you would want to um, build... Uh, so you'd want to do, let's see, this is gray concrete. So we have one, two, three gray concrete. Then we have a space right here for our elevator door. And then we have three on that side and then above the door. Uh, so you have like a two block door and then above the door you have, um, these, uh, obsidian blocks. Okay. If you don't want to do the concrete or if you don't want to do the elevator, then just mirror what you have over there. So it should be a white, uh, or a diorite pillar there. 
And then he, actually you can go, you can space these out um, by four. So you could do a, a diorite, uh, four glass, and then a, um, what's it called? Blackstone. And then after that, you, this one would be glass if you didn't do the elevator. And then you have one, two, three, four glass uh, like that if you didn't do the elevator. But if you did do the elevator, obviously you have three glass after the elevator section. And then you have a, a blackstone and then one, two, three, four. Diorite, one, two, three, four to the corner. Okay, coming on the left side here, we've got one, two, three, four glass, a diorite, one, two, three, four glass, a, a blackstone, one, two, three, four, a blackstone, one, two, three, four, a diorite, and one, two, three, four to the corner, like that. Okay, then around the front, just on this very, the top of this balcony right here, I put a little edge, and this is light blue stained glass pane. So if this is blue, this is the light blue. And it goes all the way around on the edge here, like that, to be like the railing for the balcony that we're gonna do. Okay, this next step is the interior of this. So of course you can skip this if you're not building the interior, but if you are, here we go. So the easiest way to approach this is if you come from this pillar right here, if we're on the front, remember that white concrete pillar that we talked about with the block that you can't see? Yeah, on top of that one, you're gonna go and you're gonna go to the right of it to this blackstone column right there, okay? And behind that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place four of these uh, white concrete blocks tall, a wall that goes literally all the way across to this other one over here. All right, and if those don't line up, then you counted something wrong, or I counted something wrong. But anyways, those should line up. So that wall comes all the way across here. Then what you need to do is you need to build this wall right here. So this uh, black stone pillar right here, from that black stone pillar, you're gonna build a white concrete wall that comes here and connects to this one. And then you're gonna build a white concrete wall from this uh, pillar there and connects to that one. So see how those two black stone pillars in the middle, they come out this way. And then that frames a bedroom, a bathroom, and then the other bedroom like that. All right. Now, from this white concrete pillar right here that is on the right-hand side of the build, so if this is like the you know me facing the front of it, uh, on the right-hand side of it, this wall is going to come this way, and you're going to just extend this pillar uh, all the way along here until it connects to this wall there. Okay? And then you have this two-block gap like this, and this is gonna be your hallway. So where this wall connects to this one, then there's a two black, two black, two block gap like that. And then this one is then going to be a wall that goes all the way to this pillar like that. So that's why these two pillars had to be positioned a little bit differently than the four block spacing was because of that hallway like that. Okay, very cool. Next, what you wanna do is from the elevator door right here. So if you're in the elevator door, uh, the so like if this was our pillar that we had, two blocks there, I have a two by three door here that I just filled with these trap doors to make it look like there's a door, but there's really not. If you actually wanna put doors there, you're probably gonna have to use something other than crimson. Well, I guess the crimson doors would be fine. They look a little weird though. <laughs> me. Anyway, um, so this is all just trap doors like this. And I built a door here and it has a single block over the top like that. Okay. So coming in from that door, what we have is immediately to the right, what I did is I put uh, nothing there for some reason. And then across here, I put shulker boxes. So we have one, two, three, four, and then five white shulker boxes like that. Uh, this one here you could put facing up. I did not just because I wanted to keep them all the same as those. But I think it will actually open if you put the pot on top without knocking the pot off, I, I think. Okay. Then above those, you're going to put shulker boxes across here. And then in the very corner, what I did is I just put in some sea lanterns in there just for some extra light. You only really need this one right here um, to be the light, but it's just two sea lanterns is what I got there. Anyway, then across here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six more shulker boxes that are two blocks tall. So fr from the ceiling down, it's two. And then I did the same thing with shulker boxes here, except right here, what I have is two netherite blocks. And this is what I've been doing for like a, uh, an oven lately. I've been doing two netherite blocks, two of these pressure plates and two buttons to do like the oven and stove. If you don't want to gather netherite in your in survival, then use furnaces or something else for your stove. Um, then we have shulker box, two cauldrons with uh, 
that thing and that thing for a little like the sink handle thing and then choker box six netherite blocks again use something else for the fridge if you don't want to use netherite blocks um because it's going to get expensive if this thing is multiple levels tall <laughs> anyway uh like traditionally people use um iron blocks probably iron blocks instead of netherite would work for that and then for these like maybe the uh we could use all kinds of different things for the stove anyway um then in front of this block right here two blocks away i did a strip of the quartz one two three four five blocks long is that five one two three four five yeah five blocks long and then in front of that i put these little slabs and these crimson things for some chairs like that and then above that i put another strip of the quartz with end rods hanging down for some overhead lights like that and that's the kitchen and then i did a little pot with a flower and a little brewing stand for just some extra details and then here we have two blocks away from that i did a two by one two three four five thing of yellow carpet if you don't like the yellow use a different color i just was trying to incorporate some other colors that i don't use as frequently all right, one block away from this diorite pillar right here, I did one, two, three, four, five, six of the quartz blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five quartz blocks that way. And then I filled it full of the quartz slabs like this to create this little couch. All right, and then right off the end of the couch on the wall, these are shulker boxes underneath. There's four of them, of course. And then above that is some black wool that I used to make a little big screen TV like that. Now, obviously, this is kind of the older style of big screen TV that is kind of big and thick, but um, it, it's effective. Anyway, uh, then right here we have a single block of, I think that's actually white concrete. You could use quartz, though, or white concrete, doesn't matter. And then a lamp on top of it with uh, two end rods and then, of course, a carpet. Okay, so next to this refrigerator, I cut out a hole here for a door. Uh, so you'd break these six blocks out right here for this door. And then straight ahead should be actually the wall right there. So to orient that wall and the door. And then you could actually do like a little coat closet right there, couldn't you? Why don't we do that? That's kind of cool. I didn't even think about that. There we go. Right here, you got yourself a little like closet. Kind of cool. We could actually do one here too. Oh, missed. It's right here. Only if you wanted to do this. A couple little like closets like that. You could put shulker boxes in there. I, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, so if that is the wall right there, then one block away right here. So basically this wall like comes out one block and then I put the door. It's a three by one door here. And then I did that same trick with these trap doors to make it look like there's a door when there's really not. And then um, right here, what I did is, of course, these are white shulker boxes all the way around like that. I didn't put them next to the glass here because I didn't want it to connect. I guess it doesn't. So I suppose you could do that. But it, that also kind of looks a little, that doesn't look too bad. And then I guess you could make this a little bit longer if you wanted to, like that. Whatever you want to do. Either way. Just some options. And then across here, what I have is, of course, quartz slabs with a quartz slab, little chair, crimson, you get it, end rod, carpet. Then over here against this wall, centered on the wall, what I did is these are blocks of quartz here. And then that right there is a stair upside down, a stair upside down there, and then two blocks here. And then the bed actually starts there and it's just some wool. It's white wool that's three blocks wide and then gray wool that is three by three here. And then I put some white carpet there for the pillows, very typical hex bed. And then our um, trap doors, or these are actually signs. These are crimson signs around to kind of make it look like that's a bed frame. I've been doing that lately. I think it kind of finishes off the bed a little bit better. And then another little yellow carpet here at the foot of the bed. If you don't like the yellow, use something else, but I like the yellow. And then a little pot with a flower. Okay, moving on to the bathroom, which is the next one. So the bathroom door is actually uh, off-centered. So you have like a one block strip here and then two here. So then when you come into the bathroom here, we've got two shulkers, cauldron, two shulkers, end rods, shulker row across the top. And then if I was doing this, I would probably use a painting for this, or you could uh, spend some time and make, uh, ooh, it's a nice mirror. <laughs> there we go. That's exactly what I look like. 
that my nose isn't so weird. <laughs> right here, I did some, obviously, these are some scaffolds just for some like towel shelves like that. And then I have the standard modern hex toilet right here with a slab, pressure plate, button, toilet done. And then I did some white white stained glass panes along here uh, that is like a space of one block for our derpy little shower, our pervy little shower here. <laughs> All right, uh, the next bedroom, and then we're done with the interior of this thing. Here is this. So it's basically a mirror of this bedroom, except the bed is different. The bed is only a two wide bed instead of a three wide bed. So yeah, it's centered in the middle of that little headboard. And then I did a blue carpet instead of a yellow one. So it's about the only differences there. And then here, down the hallway, I just did some end rods on the ceiling. Um, so I'm just simulating. The ceiling is actually going to be one block above. So like this is going to be ceiling right here. So these are end rods. Actually, the ceiling is not going to be that color. It's going to be gray concrete. So it would look like this, like that. Okay, that's that. Super simple. I wanted to go kind of minimalist on this. You could go a little bit crazier and decorate this a little bit better, but I definitely recommend the setup of the walls that I have and like which room is which, because I feel like that works really well. And then we actually have a hallway, which I very rarely actually do hallways. So you're welcome. You're welcome for hallways. <laughs> All right. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to fill this whole thing on top with gray concrete. And you're also going to mirror this right here. So basically this is going to be white concrete there. White concrete like that. White concrete all the way along here. White concrete to the corner, wherever the corner is. Like that, so that corner is like right above here. Just like that, and then white concrete. White concrete, and then coming out from this, you're gonna do white concrete. And this is all like one block up from what we just built, all right? So basically I'm putting a layer on top. Whoops, if I can get the thing to line up there. There we go, like that. So there's gonna be a layer of white concrete and then fill everything else in with the um, the gray concrete, right? So all of this is gonna be gray concrete, gray, 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 all the way across there. Just like that. So everything is filled in with gray concrete, like I said, except for those one little blocks, oops, that are on top of there. And then this front edge, like that, all the way around. Just like that. And then we're gonna build the next apartment layer up. Okay, this layer is actually pretty much the same as the layer below it, except for a few little details. So, what are those details? Well, first of all, obviously, this comes out further. So, the hallway uh, that we had here where we had these um, white, these black stone pillars here, and then the hallway is like, meets up at the end of those black stone pillars. That hallway actually comes all the way to the end here. And instead of the black stone pillars, what I did is white concrete on the ends here. So that creates like this right here. Uh, that little um, rectangle right there is basically the end of the hallway, just like that. Okay. And they match up exactly where those black stone pillars are. Now, like I said before, if you want to uh, space this out, you could leave these white like if you're not putting any interior in is what I mean by spaces out. I don't know how those are related at all. But anyway, if you wanted to not do the interior, you could put these pillars right here, these white pillars, because they look cool. That one there and that one there. Or you could just leave them off entirely um, and just do a complete sheet of the light stained glass all the way around, light blue stained glass. Speaking of, this... Uh, border right here is actually all light blue stained glass. So it comes from this pillar right here, goes to those two right there, and then comes all the way around, and it's all light blue stained glass, lots of it, all the way around to here where we have this pillar. Okay, so that's one of the differences. Um, the other differences have to do with the interior uh, because over here, if you'll notice, this diorite pillar is exactly where that diorite pillar is. So there's four blocks, four blocks, and then a black stone, four blocks, and then a black stone, four blocks, and then a diorite, and four blocks to the corner, four blocks, diorite, four blocks, black stone, four blocks, what would be black stone if you're not building the elevator, or three blocks, and then that same elevator component. I don't know why this is missing here. And then, um, so the elevator like is just exactly the same as the bottom. And then three blocks here of glass, and then four blocks here of glass, 
to the corner. And this is, of course, the blue glass. This is the light blue. So that's important to get the coloration correct. Unless you want to just totally go with whatever colors you want. I don't care. Anyway, on the interior, the only difference is in this room right here and in this room right here, this little thing. So in this room, this is exactly the same. Is it exactly the same couch? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's not the same couch. This couch is actually um, in the same position, I believe, except it's seven blocks along this way. And then the couch is like this with a little table instead of the little um, lounge thingy that's stuck out here. This TV, I don't know why that's messed up. Uh, this TV is actually six blocks wide instead of, no, five blocks wide instead of four. And then the there's a lamp here and a lamp here. So that's the difference in this room. And then I did the other side of this couch is one, let's see, from the corner, one, two, three, four, five blocks like that. And then we have the same couch. So it's basically mirrored on both sides like that. So there's your couch like that. And then also, instead of that yellow carpet, we had enough room in here to build a full table. So that's exactly what I did. I just made um, directly across from this. So it is one, two, three blocks away. So like if we put these trap doors down, you can see there's a one block space between them. And then we have one, two, three of the quartz uh, slabs for the chairs. And then two blocks wide of these stair blocks that are turned upside down for our table. And then actually on this end, I did it like that, which I should have done on this end, but I didn't do it. So you can either go like that or you can make the stair blocks like connect like this so that that's like the top of this. You Hopefully you know how to do that. Anyway, it um, doesn't really matter which way you do it. And then I did some pressure plates and pots for plates and cups. And that's the only differences between this layer here and the one we did below. Okay, next what you're going to do is you're going to fill in the top of this thing exactly the same. So basically like the floor of this layer is also the ceiling of the next layer. So it's going to be, you know, white concrete across the front. Oops, that's not white concrete. White concrete across the front like this. Do, 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 like that. And then the rest, all gray concrete. And then what we're going to have is we're going to have one, two, three, four, five of those layers. Okay, so five of these. And then we're going to do another one of these. And then it's five more of these. And then another one of these. So that would take us to here. And then five more of the ones without the balcony. And then one with the balcony. And then five more without the balcony. And then one with the balcony. And depending on where world height is for you, um, I did one, two, three, four of the ones without the balcony. So this layer that I just did right now. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot about this part. So uh, right here in the layer below us, that is actually glass and there's nothing there. In this layer, all I did was I put three slabs of quartz, a little lamp and a chair for kind of like a little desk area right here. So that kind of takes up this corner that uh, had, would have nothing in it in the bedroom like that. Okay, as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five layers of that same one that we just did with the larger uh, you know, room with the kitchen, dining table and everything without the balcony. This is without the balcony. Okay, so now we need one layer with the balcony. Okay, so it looks like that. And just in case it wasn't perfectly obvious, uh, this right here, this balcony that comes out is actually the ceiling of this right here. So like if I was to break this, I'd actually be uh, over the desk in the bedroom, if that makes sense. And then what we need to do is we have, I have, I was able to fit one. So this being one, so I was able to fit one, two, three more of those. So a total of one, two, three, four of this right here. So basically like from where my cursor is, uh, to there, or if you want to think of it as, yeah, so four, four more, right? One, two, three, oh, four full ones. There we go. Okay, so something like really strange happened to me. Somehow I was able to go higher than that one. I thought that this one was at world height. Uh, evidently that is not true. <laughs> um, so I'm not really sure what happened there, but let me show you what happens 
when you hit world height. So uh, one, two, three, four. I was able to fit five full ones. And then I have these uh, one, two, and a little bit more here. So once you hit world height, what I would do is I would basically not build, I'm going to delete it, but basically not build this upper floor right here. Even though I was able to fit it, I can't put a ceiling on it because I'm clearly at world height. Yeah, height limit 256. Apparently that's 255. So what I need to be able to do is I need to be able to cap it off with a little uh, top cap like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to delete this top area here. And like what I would do is while I was building, I would see like, do I have enough space to build another set of this? And if not, then what I would do is I would not build that set and instead build what I'm about to build here. So let me delete this and delete is like a super easy function on world edit. I love it. I can delete massive amounts of blocks really quickly. By the way, did I say world edit? I meant bling edit. Delete. Okay, that's been deleted. And then what I'm gonna do is where, let me get rid of these, there we go. Where we had the, uh, the upper, so like this layer right here, the one with the balcony, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a box of gray concrete where that, uh, where this is, right? So I'm gonna basically uh, come right here. And if this is our, the top of our wall right there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a box of gray concrete here. And I'm gonna go, I think that one is three blocks tall. But you could do, you know, whatever room you have left. It really depends on what you want to use it for. If you just want to do it for decoration purposes, great. If you want to put like some redstone stuff in here, whatever, that's great too. I'm going to build it just up to world height. And then we're just going to build a box up here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it like a filled in box because that's super easy to do with bling at it. But obviously if I was in survival, I would build an empty box and then like light it up on the inside or maybe put some secret like stash in there or something. Or um, like if you built redstone farms inside of here, depending on what farm you built, you might be able to put like the redstone that goes to the top of the farm into this upper section. So that would be kind of cool. Okay, there we go. Now you can see that box on top. Now this one was four tall because I went to world height. That one's actually three tall. You can be the judge of whether or not you want it four tall or three tall. I kind of think that the four tall looks better but that's just me. And then it's also kind of cool because I have these sort of two floors here, this little two floor section, which I think kind of looks cool and really caps off the top of our build here. Now you can kind of see what it looks like without the elevator. And if you're happy with that and you don't really need the elevator, then don't build it because this was the original design that I had was one that looked like that. Right there, I'm trying to hide the other one behind it. Well, it looked like that. So this elevator kind of is a bit of a bump on the back side of it. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look as good to me as this build here. But I did, in fact, want the elevator. So I'm going to show you how to build that next. And then that'll be the end of this little tutorial. Okay, this elevator is kind of a tutorial inside of a tutorial. So <laughs> we'll get started, but it might be a little bit long in the video. Anyway. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna dig this down, I believe one, two, three blocks, like that. And then right here, I'm gonna put an obsidian block, like that, just because I like to, but you don't really need to, unless you're gonna dig underneath this thing. So if you dig underneath it or make it deeper for some reason, then you're gonna wanna put an obsidian block right there. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is break this out and this out. Now you can leave these empty, or you can fill them with immovable blocks or like the uh, glazed terracotta. I'm gonna fill them with immovables just to make the point, like that. Okay, there we go. Next, what you wanna do is you're gonna break out these two blocks right here. And then what you're gonna do is, right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna place in a gray concrete and another gray concrete with a button on its face like that. Then you're gonna grab out your observer and you're going to make him observe the button upwards. You have to press shift and do it. And then you're gonna do two more observers underneath that. So you have three all facing up into that 
their button. Yes, that is correct. Okay, next what you're going to do... <laughs> yep, so this is just the bottom one. Next what you're going to do is you get out, you're going to get out at your honey blocks. So here's a nice honey block. And we're going to take... Wait, I didn't get them. Yes, yeah, so you're going to need honey blocks. You're going to need two of those. You're going to need two slime blocks. I know, Hex is actually giving us a list of things we're going to need. And you're going to need two of these... Uh, what are they called? Sticky pistons. The sticky pistons, like that. Okay, this is going to be the car for the elevator. So you're going to do uh, two honey blocks like that, and they're on the side of the thing where your door is, like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take an observer, and you're going to face it so that it's pointing in that direction, so its eyes are looking at that block right there. So like if you're walking in, it's looking to the left. Okay, and then... Behind that, you're going to place in a sticky piston, like that. All right, then underneath that sticky piston, you're going to place a slime block. And then you're going to place a slime block right there underneath that honey block. So if this was our observer, this is the slime block. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place an observer facing that observer right there. And then you're going to break this honey block, come up, put a sticky piston facing up there, and then put this honey block right there. Okay, then what I need to do is I need to put something back down at the bottom of this thing. So I gotta break out one, two, three of these, and then a fourth one, because what I need to do is I need to put an observer facing that way. So it's basically looking that way with its uh, the redstone output coming out that way. And for some reason I dug the hole too deep, so we need the uh, an obsidian block right there to stop the elevator. And then I'm just going to fill this with the movables, or you could actually leave like these blocks completely empty like that and just put this uh, right there. It's up to you. Okay, so that's the bottom floor. Now, if I push this button, what's going to happen is this elevator is going to take off and it's going to go up. So what we need to do then is we need to go up to here. Now, the first thing that we have to do, unfortunately, we have to break that block right there. It's very important that you break that block. And then you're going to place an obsidian block right there below that little gap and one above it, like that. And then what we need to do is we need to get a regular piston. I suppose you could use a sticky piston, but it's going to make a mess. <laughs> so use a regular piston. And what you have to do is you have to put that regular piston so it's facing this way in that space that we had. Uh, nope, sorry. Nope, it's facing this way, but it's in between. Hello. I hate when that happens in creative. Don't you guys hate that? Okay. Uh, in between the two obsidian blocks. So it has to be between those obsidian blocks. And then, and then you want to make sure that there's nothing in front of that piston. So I'm going to replace those two. And then if we look right here, there's nothing in front of the piston, but you can't see that because... It's hiding in the wall. Okay, just like that. Perfect, you're doing great. Then what I'm gonna do is take two blocks and I'm just gonna use the gray concrete, but if you were building this like in a different build, it could be whatever blocks you wanted uh, and put two there. And then you're gonna place one there. Let me think about this for a second. Yes. So we've got one, two, three, and then like, that. So there's three and then one over and then two. Yes. I think that's how it goes. Okay. Anyway, um, up above this one, you're going to place a block and then you're going to place another block. You're going to place a button on that block. I'm just using stone buttons because I like the way they look, but it doesn't have to be a stone button. And then I'm going to break that block right there. Then I'm going to do two observers observing that button. So to go, both of them looking up at that button, okay? And then, I'm just making sure I'm doing this right. Okay, then right here on that block, I'm gonna place a block and another block, put a button on its face, and then I'm gonna break the block underneath it. And then what I'm gonna do is place one, two, and three observers facing that one. So just like we did down there, we had three, this one has three as well. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get out some redstone dust, if I can find it, there it is. And you're going to place redstone dust there, 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 and there. And that's going to activate your piston for you like that. 
And the reason that's important is because when the piston is uh, retracted like this, it actually, when the honey blocks come, it actually is going to grab that piston. And because it's trapped in between these two immovable blocks, it, the elevator is going to stop. But the second I press one of these buttons, it's going to simultaneously activate one of the observers and extend the piston. Well, an extended piston actually cannot be moved. So it allows the elevator to move away from the piston while the piston is immovable, um, but only when I press the button. So that's how it works, just in case you were wondering. All right. So next what we need to do is we need to send this guy up there. Because the next part is a little bit tricky, and without the elevator there, I almost always mess it up. So I'll show you how to do it. There we go. As promised, it stopped. So what we have to do is we have to make it, because when the elevator is coming down, it does this really annoying thing where if there's nothing underneath it, it actually will push the slime block layer down by a block and it'll sit down here. And then when we push either one of these two, what it's going to do is go only uh, up, I think, or only down. So it like won't go the way that you want it to. So what we have to do is do a reset. And so the reset works like this. You're going to take and put a block underneath the um, observer here. Then we're going to put a block right there and break this one. Okay, so below and behind that observer, below a block and behind a block right there. Okay, then you're going to take any normal block. I'm going to use this gray concrete and place it right there. Then we're going to grab some uh, uh, a repeater. That's right, a repeater. And you want this repeater to be right here. And this is actually a slightly more compact version of the elevator that I did a tutorial on a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, like that. Okay, and then you're going to place an observer facing into that repeater. One and two of them. Yes, two of them. And then you're going to place in another immovable block right there next to that piston. And then you're going to place redstone dust on top of that observer. So basically what happens then is as this elevator comes and it goes um, and it is going along, this block will get powered by this observer, which will power this thing, which when the, by the time the elevator gets here, what happens is it fires and it resets the elevator. So it like extends this piston and grabs the part that was um, missing or that was pushed away. So it works pretty well. Uh, let's see if I can show that to you. See, this should be the down. There we go. And when it goes down, the timing is such that even though it powers this thing and would normally power the, that piston, it doesn't actually get it because the piston is moved by the time it's done it. So it, it's a pretty tricky little system. I like it. Okay, so it's going up, it's going up, and I have to imagine that it's coming down because what actually happens is, watch, it. Uh, you missed it because of lag. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that is the complete... Uh, thing right here. Now, you have to have immovable blocks here and here. The ones above these observers can actually be non-immovable. So like, uh, I think in my version over the original skyscraper I did, I did glass like this here, like this. So you can actually build like a column of glass. Uh-oh. That's going to be a problem. Oh, it stopped. I know why it stopped. <laughs> because why did it stop? Uh, I have no idea why it just stopped there. Oh, copied and pasted these. <laughs> yeah, make sure these are all immovable. Otherwise, it will stop there when you don't want it to. But I'm glad it stopped because now I can send it back down and you can see this thing fire. There. You, you probably saw it, but basically this came down and then it powered this and then it grabbed it and pulled it back up. So that's what that's about. Anyway, um, yeah, so as I was saying, oh, now I lost my glass block. I'm such a blockhead. <laughs> By the way, you guys should watch the blockhead series. It's fun. Anyway, uh, so like these right here above these observers and incidentally below these observers can be... Um, glass. All right. So, you, so what I did is I did like a, actually a column of glass the whole way down because those don't need to be immovables. 
because they only have observers going into them. And so then, um, yeah, so that can, that doesn't have to be an immovable right there, actually. It can be glass, like that. But I think it looks better. <laughs> uh, but everything else around it has to be immovable, otherwise it'll get stuck like you saw earlier. So you gotta make sure that like on these layers that that's not, you know, that this is immovable and that's immovable. And then basically all you have to do is build this thing right here on every single layer of your build and it will be a station for you to um, for you to uh, have as a station where the elevator will stop. Now at the very top layer, you actually don't need this button, these three observers or the redstone up to here. So you only need like this part right here. Uh, so like that block, the you only need like this right here on the very top one. You, because this right here is the down circuit. And then you actually don't need the reset circuit because you're not moving down from anywhere because it's the very top one. And I highly recommend on the very top to also put a block <laughs> somewhere up above it that is immovable so that it doesn't take off on you and get out of block limit or whatever. All right, that's that. Uh, then to cover around the elevator, what I did was I came out here with this gray concrete like this, and then I went behind that redstone there, like that, and then I came to this spot right there, and then what I did is I built a column here and a column there, like that, and then this coming out here, and coming out here, and I did this on every level, like this, and then like this. So basically I made a box, and then I filled this whole thing in with these glass panes, the blue stained glass panes, like this, all the way around. Now, what I did is I left it open. So yes, you could technically fall off the elevator, and if I was a real human uh, going up this elevator, I would be flipping terrified of this thing and I wouldn't go nowhere near it. I probably wouldn't even go in the building because it would be so terrifying to me. And I would assume that it would be terrifying to most people. But since we're in Minecraft, it's not a big deal. Or you could fill the whole thing in like this with these immovable blocks and say, screw it, I don't want to be able to see out. I want to be safe and not fall off the edge of my elevator. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do there. Um, I opted for being able to see because it is a very slow elevator. <laughs> and even though riding a flying machine elevator is fun for about, I don't know, 20 seconds, um, riding it for like three minutes is uh, kind of boring. So it'd be nice to be able to look out at the pigs and more pigs. Wow, that's actually a shocking number of pigs. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I filled this whole thing in like this, do, do, do. Do, do, do. like that. And then every level has like that box around it, as you can see. And then on the bottom, I just did, you know, like a, a pillar like this going up. And you have to make those sound effects when you do it too. Otherwise it doesn't work right. I'm just kidding. Like that. And then I just filled in with glass like that. Maybe there's a better way to do it, but that's how I did it, and I think it looks good. Now, if you fill in the whole elevator um, with the you know immovable blocks and make it so you can't see out, there's no reason to put the glass unless you want to see this, so you could fill it in just with whatever block you wanted to, so like fill in the whole thing with gray concrete. There's also that option as well. Of course, I didn't do that, so we can't really see what that would look like, but I think that it would actually look kind of cool um, as well with uh, being just solid and being like, oh, that must be the elevator section of the build. Anyway, with that, we are finished with this tutorial. Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of How to Build in Minecraft, and I hope that you enjoy building this massive skyscraper. I hope you try it in survival mode because I want to torture you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I think it's actually gonna be like a really cool addition to your build. And even if you don't do the interior and stuff, I think it's still gonna look really cool like for um, you know, you could build like, gosh, I don't even know what kind of farms in there. Probably a lot of different farms. You could build like a potato farm and a wheat farm and a carrot farm and a, and a mob farm and a whatever farm. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys are having an amazing, awesome, beautiful, fantastic day and God bless.